what is a calcium score? So as a cardiologist, I get asked every day, should I get a calcium score? Somebody told me the other day, I have an LDL of 300 and a calcium score of zero. So that means I'm good, right? So the answer is no. Um, calcium score, before I get into the answer, is a very low dose CT scan of your chest. We're looking for calcified arteries. If we look at the heart model, these are usually the arteries on the outside of your heart. And we look to see if there's any calcifications inside of your arteries. And I'll put a picture of it uh, up here, what, what we actually see. On, on the one side, you'll see a, uh, a heart with no calcium. On the other side, you'll see a heart with calcium. Now, the problem with calcium scoring is that it can, be, it can vary very widely and it can be inaccurate. You can have a calcium score of zero and have lots of soft plaque. And these soft plaques are usually the ones that cause heart attacks. 70 to 80 percent of uh, acute MIs or heart attacks come from soft plaque. Almost entire, almost all of the heart attacks come from small soft plaque rupturing. The CT scanner cannot see soft plaque, but it can see old hardened calcified plaque. And the arteries, if this is your heart, the arteries that sit, sit on, side, on the top of your heart, these things begin to calcify over time and they get hardened. But the calcium is usually on the outside and on top of the artery, not inside the walls where it would plug up the lumen. If we take a look at our uh, artery model, this is called the lumen. These yellow plaques in here, these yellow plaques are soft plaques. The CT scanner can't see it. The calcium on the outside coating or the outside walls of the plaque is where all of the plaque usually starts. Um, also, soft plaques that have hardened and calcified are highly unlikely to rupture. We, I've had patients, and we see this all the time, where they have a calcium score of like two or 3,000. Like, oh my God, it's so high. We go do a cardiac cath. The interior lumen, the inside lumen is completely normal. So that's kind of the problem with the calcium scores. It, it, we've done cardiac caths on people with super high scores where we don't find anything. The soft plaque that encroaches on the lumen is the actual problem, and that's what causes the vast majority of heart attacks. Same thing with strokes like in the carotids. So a calcium score has recently been added to the guidelines. I think 2019, the American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology said, well, you know what? We get it. It's a not that helpful in the past. It hasn't been so helpful, but the one place where you can use it, and I don't know how I feel about this, but the one place you can use it is if you have a patient who's like on the border of should we put them on a statin or not, if you do a calcium score and it's higher than what you expected or a little bit high, you know that they probably have some soft plaque or they're more prone to heart disease or they have it in their family or whatever it is. Then you treat them more aggressively. Like, okay, look, you do have a calcium score that's abnormal. Why don't we put you on a statin? Me personally, uh, I feel like that's a bit of a waste because like if I'm on the border of like, should I put this person on a, on a statin or not? I would rather err on the side of like safety prolonging life, not having heart attacks or strokes, and just put them on a statin. So for me personally, I don't find that much utility in the calcium score. I have seen patients who have brought me calcium scores because they pay for it out of pocket. It's like a two, $300 test, like, hey, I want a heart scan. Funny thing is, the person who invented the CT calcium score, the reason they call it Agastin units, and so, you know, they call it a calcium score now, but they call it Agastin units because Dr. Agastin, who's a cardiologist from South Beach, Florida, is the one that invented this. And this is back in like 1990s. Um, and he's actually the author of the South Beach Diet book. There was the Atkins book, which was really high protein, no carbs. Dr. Gasson came out and said, well, look, why don't you just eat healthier fats instead of what you're doing and created the South Beach Diet, which was healthier fats and proteins and, no, and low carbs or almost no carbs. And it obviously worked uh, at that time. That was back in 2001. Um, point being, so back to this, I'm going to put up an article, a link. I'll put the link down below. I did a really long article on calcium scoring, when to use it, how to use it, all of the data on what it correlates with, what it doesn't correlate with, should we use it, should we not, all of the research studies that were ever published, put it on my blog. Um, you can go there and read about it in depth if you want to. But those would be my thoughts on calcium scoring and how and when to use it.